working on my show. And my mind. Hey, what's the topic today, Rev? Heroes. Like, man, this is the best me I can be. I appear to be small. I'm seven years old, but I have big expectations. Get Who is this guy? Get get get, get out of get, here. Get. He, he can be that way, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. So you were saying about heroes. Business. I'm working on an amusement park right now, so, yeah. You're working on an amusement park? Yeah, I have to find some investors to start, but... All right. So this is your way, even though you're little, yeah. of showing up really big and yeah. being a hero in the world. All right, give me a high five and a fist bump and a bumba dee bum bum boo. <laughs> Woo! In my mind, I see a world filled with heroes sparking the flames of a superhuman evolution. Now, wait just a minute there, mister. What's this nonsense about superhumans? Humans done messed everything up. Indeed, indicating it's the perfect timing for superhumans to show up. Since we have a tendency to focus on what's going wrong and our inevitable doom, let's take a look. Sometimes we get disoriented in our thinking and we get blown about by the stories that we like to weave in our collective conscience. Let's not forget that the stories we weave affect the reality we experience. Maybe we have done ourselves in, but the story is not over. Chaos, destruction, and disorder fill the stories regarding our future as a species. And superheroes coming to rescue us are the modern messiah stories that we pour our attention into. And the coming apocalypse is not just a matter of comic book movies. It is in our collective imagination. Is that how we would have the story end? Hey everybody, Rev the Rev here. Thank you for tuning into this episode of In My Mind. If you dig this show, click subscribe.